If we have the correct understanding of the 70 weeks, that a day represents a year, and the vast majority of Christian expositors agree on this point, including the great physicist Sir Isaac Newton, then the conclusion is unavoidable. The vision of Daniel's 2300 years will be fulfilled about 1843. No. We, we cannot love this present evil world and at the same time serve God. While we may flatter ourselves for being righteous, and I'm as guilty of this as any man, we may soon learn to our everlasting shame that we are wretched, poor, and blind. No, no. And Luke, what is your opinion of this Miller's theory? Miller can speak all the nonsense he wants. I'm not convinced. I, too, have studied Daniel's prophecy. There's much evidence in God's word to support Miller's claims. Yes, but does anybody besides Miller find these claims to be valid? Theologians agree. Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, which reads, Then he said unto me, Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. But the text clearly says days, not years. And to assume the days are years seems awfully convenient. There's an example in Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 6. I have appointed each day for a year. If we read ahead to Daniel 9, it, it's clear this principle applies to this prophecy as well. So 2,300 days is 2,300 years. But what of Miller's start date, this 457 BC? Yes, yes, yes. Can that be proven? It can. In Daniel chapter 8, the prophecy of each animal is given along with its explanation. The ram. Yes, it, yes, yes, yes. The ram is Medo Persia. And the he goat is Greece, and the little horn must represent like the kingdom that followed Greece, which is Rome. Now, how does that explain Miller's start date? Miller's studies have shown that the angel indicates how long the prophecy is, that it starts in Medo Persia and it ends with the cleansing of the sanctuary. But the starting date is never mentioned. Let me show you. To find our starting point, we read further in Daniel chapter 9. The passage says, Know therefore and understand that from, that word, from, is the key, because it gives us a clear starting point, from the command to restore and rebuild Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince. The good news is, that of all the dates in the Bible, this one is the most well-established we have, you will find this date to be constant across the study of Persian and Greek history and confirmed by ancient astronomers. 457 BC is the year the decree was given. That this is the starting date of both the 70 weeks and the 2,300 days. The Bible says that 70 weeks or 490 days are cut off for your people. The passage goes on to state that 69 weeks or 483 days will bring you to Messiah. That is the year 27 AD. The word Messiah means? Anointed one. Anointed one. And then Jesus was anointed by the Holy Spirit at his baptism. Yes, in 27 AD, exactly as the prophecy said he would be. Now, one week remains. The Bible says in Daniel 9, verses 26 and 27, that in the middle of that week, the Messiah will be cut off and will bring an end to the need for offering animal sacrifices. Jesus died in 31 AD just as the prophecy said he would. The scriptures say that Daniel's people, the Jews, received the gospel exclusively until the year 34 AD. That was the year that Stephen was stoned as the first Christian martyr, and the gospel was about to be opened up to Gentiles. So if 457 is the start date, and, and each date since has been fulfilled, then...
1843 is unavoidable. My friends, the sanctuary will be cleansed in 1843. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Well, if the sanctuary is to be cleansed so soon, we haven't any time to lose. I have friends who must hear of Miller's message. 